Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Castle Talk with... Sure. Well, today we are talking about episode 6 of Castle Rock on Hulu. The episode is entitled Filter. Uh, this time the title of the episode connects hard into the actual episode because, again, spoilers for probably the entire season up until now, all six episodes. Uh, the deaf guy, I can't remember his name. You remember his name? Odin. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Odin something. Something that piqued my interest. I forgot, I forgot to write down his last name. Um, Odin and his translator. Yeah, Rory, Rory Culkin, of yeah, all people. Yeah, that was cool. I had Looking homeless. That. I mean, oh, just looking like a, a Culkin, I guess. That, that's bad. Macaulay, I'm sorry. Get off them drugs. Okay. <laughs> you haven't seen the recent... I haven't. Y'all, he needs to keep up. Man, anyway. Macaulay Culkin looks good. Back to the show. Yes, he looks good now. He's he's looking wow, healthy. Wow, good job, Macaulay. Anyways, back to Castle Rock. Back to it. <laughs> so Mike from It was in it. So I didn't look up their yeah, name. Yeah, um, Wendell. Wendell was Mike, and it was nice to see him. Hey. Yes, yes. Uh, the same actor who played Mike in the reboot the reimagining, whatever you want to call it, the 2017 adaptation of It, is playing Henry Deaver's yes. son, Wendell. So that makes it. me wonder, who else is going to pop up later on, or maybe yeah. even in like a season two oh, or whatever? And another thing, y'all keep telling me down there, but I haven't mentioned it in the video, Molly Strand, the actress who played Molly Strand, was in Rose Red, so my bad. Um, we, we missed that one. I, I saw Rose, Rose Red. Rose Red. Yeah, exactly. I, I saw that one I, one time. Stephen King doesn't even talk about Rose Red anymore. <laughs> um, it was like The Shining mixed with like Winchester House. And it was really, it was a very strange, strange miniseries. Kind of like The Golden Years. Very strange. Came out of nowhere. It's not based on any of uh, his actual books or short stories or anything. Well, you it can't just, have a hit every single yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's also like Sleepwalkers. I don't think you've ever seen that one. No. Somebody gets killed with a corn cob in that movie. It's pretty, yeah. pretty awesome, yeah. Maybe so, in the ear? No, no, oh. no. That's the best part of it, is where he gets killed with it. Um, not anywhere. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Nowhere like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Tell y'all down in the comments what I'm talking about. All right. Yeah, um, let me know. I'll come back and look for y'all. Yeah. Uh... So this episode, I'll go ahead, right, come right out and say it. Uh, well, actually, we've already been talking he for a while. He thinks it was trash. I, I don't think it was trash. <laughs> I think it's easily the worst episode so far. Um, at least my least favorite. Um, I didn't care much for it at all. In fact, I was hollering at the end of the episode. I was like, is that it? That's this all? man got up out of his chair screaming at the TV I was mad, and just left. The room. I was mad. They didn't even turn off our PlayStation that yeah. we used to stream Hulu on for yeah. everybody to see. Yep. He just left us. I just got him and walked away. And we were all like, I was mad. Okay. I was mad. I, I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. I was, I was mad. Um, that didn't shit happen. I mean, they they, they say some stuff happened. I, I guess. We, we got a tease. Me we, and the older it, child. You know what it was? Yes. It was a 40 minute teaser for the rest of the season. That's yes, all it was. It was. It was some plot advancement. Okay. Well, the only thing we thanks a lot. But how much plot <laughs> The only thing we learned did was they like really do. there might Not be other timelines. We don't even know we we don't even see here's the thing. Here's the thing I'm worried about. When they pick up in the next episode, I'm worried that Mama Ruth and Wendell are just going to be in the next room chilling or something, like drinking a cold one. And yeah. I am hoping they are off in some alternate timeline. I hope so, too. I, I hope. But, but the way this show is going, it's just going to pop up. And it's going to be, they're going to be, oh, I left the, I left the, they're going to be out back, like, yeah. smoking a doobie or something. And, oh, I left the stove on, I'm sorry. It's going to be something stupid like that. That's, that's what I think. But, but the, if it's okay, more, Okay, and here, here's, here's another one that I really hated about this episode. Going back to the whole convenience fact of advancing the plot. Paying board in the dang car. Really? He just, to he be just there conveniently it. found it in the junkyard. Well, no, like, oh, Not hey. just conveniently, but he just happened to be standing there when yeah, they rolled up with it. just random. Like, had he left, like, us, like, 30 seconds earlier, he would have missed that car completely. But, I mean, that's... I, I think that's actually kind of minor considering the, the little content we got this time. Um, we got a little more. I guess this is the this is the key episode that unlocks the rest of the series because we is, find out about the 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 schisma. 
We find yes. out about the schisma from Odin and, uh, and we know that that's what Rory Henry Coulton. has been hearing this yep. whole time, and, and then he... he gets shut in the dang filter. And... So why why does Molly yeah. hear so well? Is Molly is Molly actually? It can it, does she have talents or is she hearing the schisma too? Does she have a better filter? It, there's so many questions, and of course I know this is JJ is she from Abrams. A different timeline. No, whatever, I, th whatever it might be, <laughs> I don't know, but. And I, I know yeah. I know this is a nitpick, but I'm getting tired of questions. I'm getting tired of questions piling up. I'm going to forget about some of the questions I had earlier in the season because we keep getting piled on with more questions and, and very, very little, little answers. answers. <laughs> and I know one thing. I understand this, this is J.J. Abrams. Say, I get that. Or well, at least I said it in the last episode. If by episode six they don't really give us anything, I'm... Just kind of not here for it. I mean, I'll watch it. It's it's dumb fun, but you can't think too hard it's, about it. It's well shot. They're, it's they're well not, acted. They're not giving you any content to really consume and think about like you would want to with anything that has Stephen King's name thrown anywhere on it. Yeah. This is just a, hey, it, it doesn't feel It doesn't I feel do like uh, there would have been more showdown. Uh, up until up till this point, there would have been more showdown in a Stephen King novel. Um, there, and I think somebody said uh, that the behind the scenes. We'll t I'm gonna talk about that in a second. The behind the scenes says it's supposed to be built like a Stephen King novel. It's not built. And I've been studying Stephen King my whole life. It's not built like a Stephen King novel. Um, yeah, they straight up lied to us. <laughs> well, the 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 and another thing. I want to throw this out there. People keep saying that I should watch. We we should watch the documentary series uh, that they yeah, release every I, single month. I've read about that. I haven't. I I'm not watching it because I believe the show should stand on its own. I I don't I don't believe it's like it's yeah, like yeah. We, we shouldn't have to watch a backstory right and actually get story like you, to be able to watch the other right. story. You shouldn't have to read an author's note to explain a novel. Right. You know that that shouldn't be it. Those things should be you know cool little. You know, asides on how this sh this scene was shot or yeah, whatever. Like, it shouldn't like actually actual explain behind the scenes. We the shouldn't series. be getting plot development from something not everybody's gonna watch. Yeah. Who thought of that stupid idea? <laughs> I, another, another thing. Um, it's almost like the Matrix doing their thing where they did the comic books. No. Yes. The anime, the anime, yes. the video game, and the movies, and you had to, you had like, to do, all do all of it all to of get it. the entire story, which not everybody's going to go out and play a video game. Not everybody cares for anime, that kind of thing. I liked that, but I thought it was too much content It was cool to for, for multimedia, yeah. for people like us who are, nice who are more than just casual viewers, sure. Yeah. Um, but the, another thing I want to talk about is the, the, the weirdness going on with Ruth. Is she really time-traveling? Is she really stuck in a, a riff where she's hopping in and out of timelines. Did she take Wendell off with her? The thing that got me was... And how much does she actually know? Right, right. Um, is, it, is all of her memory issues really having to do with this schisma? You know, whatever it is. Right. The universe being in turmoil. Um, but there's a part where he she's looking out the window and Nick is in the backyard dressed like her husband. Mm -hmm. And she mm -hmm. goes, oh, I, th I thought we buried him in that suit. Um, which pinged off her. I know she mentioned some. Uh, she caught it, and I got to thinking. Also, is Nick Deaver? Is Nick Papa Deaver? Um, yeah. Younger Papa Deaver, and he's stuck outside of the timeline. Yeah. Also, I mean, and that so would explain question. why he didn't age because he got stuck. Yeah. And but that doesn't. And why it, she's not freaked out by him. Right, but she it saw, doesn't. It doesn't explain. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> if, I, if, if, if I if I see Nick. If I see Nick in my backyard looking like he looked in that suit, like deflated ghost kind of deal, I'm 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 gonna scream. First I'm gonna poop myself, then I'm gonna scream. And then we send the doggy. And out. then we send the doggy out. Yeah. Uh, Nick, Nick creepy. He's still creepy. But yeah. Again. Yeah. Um. Okay. Remember how last episode and ended? And he's also not giving us much. I mean, but, I figured with him being out of prison, maybe we would learn a little more yeah. from him, or at least. Learn some story through his actions and some storytelling that way. He doesn't have to say anything. Just let him go adventure and show us some stuff. And, no, can't do that either. And another reason I think that the next episode is going to open up on some bull bull is because the last episode ended on a cliffhanger, and that ended up being some bull bull. Because we ended up getting into this one, and the penguin was like, I thought you were going to help her. 
what are you talking about? I got you the car, and, and Nick's not so even hearing it. So not only with this episode did we not get a whole lot of, like, fan service going on, we didn't get yeah, much Yeah, we, we didn't, there, was, there, wasn't, there wasn't many Easter I mean, eggs at all. I mean, you don't advance the plot much, but you also don't at least do the fan service. You gotta do one or the yeah. other. It would be great if you could actually do both. It was a, it was definitely a middle, middle of the season episode. Yeah. That, that's for sure. Um, one thing I noticed, and this is a very, very loose connection, because I didn't, I didn't find any, any other Easter eggs. Period. At all. Um, if you did, leave them down in the doobie-doo. Um, but the sound in the wood, the schisma, all that stuff reminds me uh, very much of the, uh, the maybe the, it's not the Wendigo, but the sound and everything, the presence that Lewis Creed feels in the woods when he goes to bury uh, Gage, or any time that he's in the, or, or Rachel, or whoever he buries. Because um, uh, I think there's two people... And a cat, the, the cat ended up getting buried. So there's still the three people that Lewis buries. Um, but the he he feels something and he hears something and there's a presence out there. I don't know if I'm just reaching because there were no other Easter eggs in there or if that maybe is a soft tie-in. I don't know. Blue, if you're out there, buddy, I'd love to hear what you think about that. So, um, I, uh, what are your final thoughts? Um, what about Molly's conversation with oh. Henry? That was a whole bunch of BS. She could have told him that in episode, what, two, three, what, not something a, like that? Not, not only that, I'm, I'm just wondering, I'm so confused. Why I don't I don't I don't understand where that where where that's going. Right. Did he did he beat his father down and, and she, she saw it and something? then and then she I, ended up killing for him. Did she, did did she kill him because Henry felt? I don't know, y'all. I'm so confused at this point. And confusion is fine if they bring it all together. But right now it 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 feels like a completely different show now that they've introduced the schisma. Um, which I keep on wanting to call the miasma for some reason, but that's like a cloud of funk. Anywho, <laughs> so uh, my my opinion, and I'm sure I'm sure there's gonna be loads of you down there telling me how wrong I am, and that's fine. But my opinion is this episode was mar or hot hot. I can't even pronounce it. Hot garbage. Isn't that Some the same thing as trash? Tr well, no. This is hot garbage. This is, <laughs> this is like compost. There's there's steam coming off of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty okay. bad, y'all. I was mad. I was really upset. Maybe when I watch it again, I, I won't feel as bad. Because once the series is over, I'm going to go back and watch the entire... I'm going to binge the whole thing. And I'll be like, okay, well, that makes sense, more sense now. And Maybe I'm hoping that's what happens. Together. That, that would be that nice. That will, will make more sense. Because in Stephen King books, even other than The Dark Tower... You don't get much of that. You don't get much of, oh, I didn't notice that the first time around, at least not for me. So I know the Dark Tower is like that, but the rest of his books aren't. So if you don't have anything else to say... I'm just kind of here with the show. I mean, at this point, it's like, all right, come on. Just give me something. something. Just something. So until next time, I have been E, you have been you. <laughs> Shell's down there in the doobly-doo. We'll talk to you guys okay. later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.